Hi everyone, uh, my name is Scott and I'm a runner. Welcome to the Run Scotty Run YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I wanted to discuss uh, what I found to be uh, an excellent hydration pack for uh, or a, a bigger runner like me. Uh, I'm six foot two, uh, over uh, 270 pounds. I'm uh, 48 inches around uh, up at the chest. Uh, so uh, finding um, you know a reasonably priced hydration pack uh, that fits me properly uh, has uh, been a bit of a challenge. So I did have, before I got this pack, I did run with a, uh, uh, like a camelback pack that was only good for uh, basically carrying my uh, water bladder. It didn't have any uh, storage in it otherwise. So uh, two years ago, I wanted to upgrade so that I had the ability to carry uh, extra fluids, uh, you know, for, um, nutrition and also gels uh, and any other uh, goodies that would uh, would help me out now i'm a 100 percent road runner so i don't you know i don't go off venture off onto the trails uh, anywhere where i might need extra any extra emergency stuff so uh, I, I kept it uh, fairly simple uh, so this pack is uh, the uh, I, i'm sure i'm butchering how this is pronounced but and I know it's going to be backwards on my phone, but it's the uh, a Aowinige or Aowinige pack. I got this from uh, Amazon Canada. Uh, I just checked this morning. Uh, it's uh, for just the pack alone. It's uh, forty-two dollars. Um, if you go uh, searching around on Amazon, uh, or specifically Amazon Canada, uh, you will find that there are several vendors that sell this pack. Um, and the prices vary uh, up and down. One thing I will t uh, say is the link that I'm going to provide down below where I purchased this one is um, uh, eligible for Amazon Prime, which I I'm a member of. Um, so that's why that price. Uh, there are some that are might be cheaper, but you know, just check, make sure the fine print. If you're an Amazon Prime member, some of them are not all eligible for Amazon Prime. So you might have to pay extra for uh, shipping. Um, the link where I purchased this one from, the vendor where I purchased it from. Uh, now this, I should say, this is a, a 5.5 liter uh, vest or uh, pack, I'm sorry, which I'm, I'm assuming is the total volume of capacity. Uh, it's certainly not the total uh, volume of uh, fluid that I carry in it, which I'm gonna discuss in detail. So you can get this, uh, this one is uh, gray on gray. Uh, you can see this is sort of like a dark uh, charcoal gray and light gray. Uh, it also comes in black and pink. So uh, through the link where I bought it, you can also buy um, different variations of accessories. You can buy a bladder, uh, you can buy soft flasks, you can buy hard bottles. Uh, and you know, you can buy like, you know, the full meal deal. So bottles or flasks and a bladder. Uh, what I will, um, uh, what I suggest you do if you are looking to buy this is have a look, read down through the uh, reviews and the feedback. When I bought mine, this is actually my second vest uh, and I'll explain why uh, in a little bit. But um, when I bought my first one uh, just over two years ago, I remember reading, I was gonna buy the full meal deal, although I already had a bladder and some bottles. I was going to buy, you know, a bladder and some bottles and then have used the ones that I already had as kind of backup. And when I was reading the reviews, uh, I saw several comments about uh, in the bladder uh, or uh, the bottles and the bottles or both, there was uh, problems with uh, like a real uh, plasticky taste that that uh, was really hard to get rid of some people said they no matter what they tried they were not able to get rid of it so that kind of made me think oh, no i don't i don't want to buy their um their uh, bladder or bottles uh, you know that just kind of worried me if i'm you're tasting a plasticky chemical you know who knows what you're getting in your body um so i have uh, a one one and a half liter uh, bladder in the back here. So I'll just kind of start uh, at the back and work my way around uh, the pack and then I'll actually try it on and and show you uh, how it fits. So in the back uh, there's a large pocket you can see here. I have this is actually a camelback um, bladder that I had left over from my other camelback pack so it's easy to pull out 
and uh, you know unscrew this and I just I just leave the bladder inside it when I fill it at the sink so that holds uh, a liter and a half I my personal choice is I only put water in this bladder uh, and I'll be honest with you it's probably because uh, I'm a bit lazy to clean it <laughs> uh, you know you if you do put um, you know uh, some sort of uh, hydration mix in here um, you know you it, you'd have to clean the bladder on a fairly regular basis and the hose otherwise you may end up with some kind of science experiment in there uh, so I just use straight water in my uh, in my bladder uh, this doesn't have um, although there's like a separator a mesh separator which I, it's kind of hard to show you uh, when I have this bladder full uh, because I'm a big guy and I have when I have the pack on my back uh, there's not really any extra space for me. So I, I tried actually one time out on a run to um, uh, take my jacket off because it was overheating and store it in there and it, there was just no way I was going to be able to get it in there. So I, I don't use worry about any extra storage. Uh, one thing I did, um, like I mentioned, this is my second pack. And the reason being is that on my first pack, these zippers, all the zippers on this pack are uh, a very lightweight Kind of nylon zipper and uh, strangely enough that my first pack this po uh, pocket and the pockets uh, in front for the bottles uh, were much smaller so one time I was I was pulling this zipper and it was you know it was kind of strained and it ended up t uh, breaking the zipper uh, so that's why I had to replace it because it was just uh, you know would have been a real hassle uh, and I didn't want my, my bladder <laughs> flying out uh, as I was uh, out there running uh, one little thing it does have uh, on the sides here, it has, uh, hopefully I can show this, it has like little uh, loops here. So you could, if you, you could string up some sort of, uh, you know, elastic maybe across the back there somehow if, uh, you know, if you wanted to, uh, and it does have uh, a loop, another loop here at the bottom, if you wanted to be able to string something up there so that maybe, you know, you could uh, secure a jacket or some other piece of clothing in the back there. So there is that uh, option. So the straps on the sides here, uh, which I'll show, these are, are made out of nylon. They're not uh, stretchy. Uh, you do have uh, quite a bit of adjustability here connected on the very bottom. Um, you have uh, a strap here uh, and a buckle. So you, while you're running, it's actually quite easy to adjust. So I'll, I'll try to show that to you when I, I put the vest on or uh, put the pack on, I should say. Now, because I'm a big guy, this is the reason why I went with a, with a pack. Uh, the same company, when you search around on Amazon, they also make like a vest that are sort of more snug on your body. But uh, I, I wanted to have uh, a pack because I thought it would have uh, a much better chance of uh, fitting me or, or giving me a bit more comfort. Um, so I, you can see here, I've just run, there's a, there's a gap at the very top here. I've just run the hose from my uh, bladder up through the top here. Okay, so moving to the front, uh, on the two straps, you, uh, this, this is actually the left-hand strap, although I know I'm, <laughs> on my camera it's going to show up as a right-hand strap. But uh, anyway, so working from the top, um, you have one pouch here. This is actually kind of a stretchy material. Uh, I have experimented with, uh, with this. You, I can probably fit comfortably fit maybe about four gels in there plus a little plastic bag. Um, when, I, when I have used gels or do use gels, uh, after I finish consuming them, I like to put them in a little plastic bag. Uh, it serves two purposes, keeps all my trash sort of in one place so I can uh, throw it out when I finish my run. The other thing is, is that, you know, no matter how much you think you've got all of the stuff out of one of those gel packs, those, those uh, foil gel packs, there's always going to be some that's going to leak out. And I didn't want any of that sort of getting up in there and, and gumming that all up. So again, that has a plastic zipper. But uh, what I use this for now is, pardon me, is uh, when I run, especially my longer runs, I, uh, t I take uh, salt stick uh, tabs and I'm going to do a separate video. Probably my next video will be the uh, details on nutrition and hydration, my, my strategies uh, on my runs. But normally what I do now is I carry those salt, um, uh, salt stick chews or tablets uh, in, in here. And again, just in a little baggie so that they, you know, they don't get wet from my sweat and end up dissolving in there or, 
turning into a big clump. So that's a very useful uh, little pocket. So moving down, you have on both sides, you have a pouch. Um, I use this, I use two different types of bottles. Uh, these are uh, 10 ounce or I think 280 milliliter about that. This one's uh, a fuel belt bottle I had from an, an old uh, fuel belt system that I used to use. And this one's made by Nathan. Uh, I actually got this from Amazon Canada. I think it's about maybe 20 bucks for two of them when I bought them, but uh, I'll have a link to these down below. So these fit, um, fit nicely into these pockets. Uh, again, you can also use soft flasks depending on what your, what your preference is. So if I can see if I can do this without, without hurting myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they just slide down in there and uh, uh, fairly easily, although it seems I'm struggling now, fairly easily um, when you're running, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, as you're jog, jostling around, um, it is sometimes a bit of a challenge, but for the most part, it's very easy to get them in and out of there. Now, each one of these pockets has a um, uh, the stretch cord with a little toggle on it. So if you wanted to, you could pull that tight and then slide the toggle down and that would really secure things in there. But I, I, don't, uh, I don't ever do that. I find the bottles stay very secure. They don't move around uh, while they're in there. The primary thing that I use uh, these, po if, if I don't have both pockets full, uh, this is actually where I carry my phone. Uh, this, this obviously is not my phone, but I made this out of foam. It represents how big my phone is. Uh, so what I do is I just slide it down in one of these pockets and I carry my phone in there. I always wrap it in a, a plastic bag, a heavy duty uh, sandwich bag, just because it keeps it um, protected from my sweat. And in case it starts to rain, I just don't want my phone to get wet. Now in behind on this strap, uh, there is a fairly large uh, pocket. Now my phone will fit in here, uh, but it's a pretty tight fit. Uh, I have a, a, if I didn't mention it already, mine's a Samsung Galaxy A51. Hopefully that shows up. Um, so it will fit in there quite snugly, but it won't fit in there uh, really well with the uh, plastic bag on it. Or if it does, when I go to do it up, it's really, uh, you know, again, it puts a lot of strain on the zipper, which I don't want to do. Uh, what I do this, use this for now is if I do carry uh, most, I normally use uh, Tailwind mixed up in my bottles as my uh, nutrition source, but sometimes I will carry um, a couple of gels as uh, just as backup in case, you know, I drop the bottle and the top flies off and all my Tailwind goes all over the sidewalk or sometimes I just need a little something in my stomach other than liquid. So this makes for a perfect pocket. And I don't know, you could probably carry seven or eight gels in there if you want to, plus a plastic bag. It's a pretty spacious uh, pocket. All right, so going over to the other side, uh, this is actually, I think on the website, they call this a card pocket. And I have just, you know, just for, for uh, giggles and grins, I have put like a bank card or a business card in there. So if you wanted to carry, uh, you know, a credit card or whatever you could, it is again made out of a fairly stretchy material, this pouch. Uh, what I use it for is uh, this, it comes with a, a little whistle, which I, I can probably whistle myself louder than that. But anyway, uh, the neat thing is it comes on a, like a stretch cord uh, so all I did was I just put a house key, uh, an extra house key on that stretch cord. So I always have, uh, you know, a, a house key so I don't get locked out of my, uh, out of my house while I'm running. So that works well. But again, it's a, it's a, it's a handy little, uh, uh, pocket, uh, there. Um, and then again, you have another, uh, pouch for, um, fluid, uh, you know, for bottles or whatever or whatever else you might want to carry in there on the, uh, on the other side. All right. So you have, uh, two straps. Um, oops, I got my microphone cord, all kinds of corruption going on here. Um, I have, uh, you have two straps on the front here to, uh, connect the two, uh, straps in the front. This top one is, uh, actually a, a stretchy, uh, one. I have it expanded all the way out just, uh, for the way, because I like the way it fits. It also has, this top one has a, um, uh, one of these little clips. Hopefully you can see that, uh, that just 
You can snap your the hose from your uh, bladder in there. Oops. Oh, wrong, uh, wrong strap. And uh, the bladder, the hose actually slides. You know, once you snap it in there, the hose does uh, slide back and forth if you need to uh, uh, adjust it. The bottom strap is a uh, nylon. I don't even, not even sure why I keep this on here. I never use this one because it's just too uh, tight across uh, my chest. The the other nice thing is that both these straps, um, they the way they connect on is they can actually uh, slide up and down on the uh, on the vest so you know when you get it as you're as you're used to getting it on and you're you're adjusting it and and adapting to it you know in your first few runs you can actually move the the straps up and down uh, quite a bit to accommodate your you know your body shape and and your and the comfort and fit um, I keep my top strap here I, I have it all the way to the top so you can see the way I've routed my um, hose is on both these straps, uh, there's a loop at the top here, um, which has some reflective tape on it. It's, a, it's actually a nylon strap, but it has, uh, so what I did is, you can see I've looped it through, uh, pushed, put my hose through that loop, and then it comes across here, and when I snap the vest on, which I'll show you shortly, um, that works out really well. Uh, just a, you know, kind of a bit of a, uh, lesson learned pro tip if you want if you're if you're new to hydration bladders uh, and you find when you fill it up with water that it really sloshes around a lot the hose is actually connected to the bottom of the uh, the pack which makes sense because it's when it's you know when it's right side up on your back it um, you want it draining from the bottom but sometimes when you fill it up you know you've got some air in it and the thing will slosh around a lot and just kind of drive you drive what well, drives me crazy anyway so all you do is you just turn the thing upside down so all the air goes up here and then just you know drink drink from your hose uh you'll you know you'll get some water initially which is just the water that's in the hose and then eventually you'll hit the air and then you can just kind of suck the air out and then that'll take the air out of your bladder and then it pr will prevent uh uh, all that uh, sloshing, uh, sloshing around. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna stand up here and uh, put it on, if I can get all my <coughs> straps all disconnected properly. So, just put it on here. So I do up the, like I said, the top strap like that, and I just sort of tuck this one. I probably should just cut that bottom one off. But, uh, so you can see that the pockets are sort of, you know, I actually sort of more on my sides here and, uh, and the, the bladders in the back. So you can see it's easy to reach on both sides. You can, uh, you can adjust or loosen the thing to, to make it comfortable. And on both sides, I probably have about another uh, three inches of strap here. So, you know, if you were, if you were a bigger person and you needed more expandability, uh, even than what I have, um, you're good to go. So the bottles, Again, just just uh, slide into these uh, pouches on the front here, and you know the hose is really uh, the way I have my hose set up. It's uh, over here because I have it through the loop. It's not rubbing or chafing on my neck, and the straps are not chafing on my neck either. Uh, even you know if I'm just wearing a t-shirt and there's no collar, I don't have any chafing issues. Um, and I don't even though you know it looks like these are gonna flap up and down when when I'm running I, I don't I've never had these bounce up and down uh, you know they will slosh a little bit as you drink out of them but uh, there's not much you can uh, you can do about that uh, one one thing is when I'm wearing a sleeveless t-shirt the way that I have mine um, fitted on my body is these straps will rub maybe on some bare exposed skin uh, so what I do is I just slap a little body glide in there just kind of right directly below my armpit and that prevents uh, chafing. I mean every once in a while I do get a little bit of chafing and you know which you normally find out in the shower. Uh, I don't find that this bounces you know flaps up and down. If it is a bit loose what I find is it more sort of slides side to side so then I just uh, adjust the the straps here uh, accordingly. So I'll just take these uh, these bottles back out uh, when I do have both bottles full in the front here I actually use uh, I'm just going to take this off here uh, 
get myself situated again. So when I have uh, both those pockets in the front uh, full with water bottles, I use, uh, to carry my phone, I use this uh, flip belt. Uh, it's got several pockets in it. This is a flip belt zipper so I can secure my phone. And then this just goes around my waist. Uh, I did another video uh, about this flip belt, uh, uh, my hat, the hat, the sunglasses, and the flip belt. So I'll have a link to that down below, including the time stamp where you can go to that video and, and hear about how I use this uh, flip belt. Um, let me just check my notes. Uh, okay, one, one, uh, uh, one other thing. It's not a terribly breathable uh, vest. Um, it is comfortable. This doesn't chafe at all uh, on my back. It's not really, there, there's like, I don't know, two, three layers of material here, I guess. So it, it, it does feel a little bit padded, um, but it's not uh, super breathable against my back. The straps are not too, too bad. They're actually fairly uh, uh, almost see-through. Uh, so that's one drawback in the summertime. It does uh, add a little bit of heat uh, to my back, but in the summer, in the winter time when it's colder, it actually uh, helps hold a little bit of uh, body heat in there. Um, I wear my vest on essentially every single run, um, except maybe a 5K. I might not wear it on a 5K, uh, but I, any other run, if I'm going out for an hour or more, uh, I always like to have. Um, you know, just that security of having some some water. I always have some water in my bladder. I never I never take the bladder out. Uh, the other thing is, I just find it so convenient. Um, you know, I don't necessarily like wearing belts, uh, so it's just so convenient for carrying my phone and and anything else. Uh, so uh, as a result, uh, this little beauty absorbs a lot of uh, a lot of sweat. Uh, so I wash this. Uh, at least once a week, maybe sometimes twice a week in the summertime because it absorbs a lot of sweat and it can uh, it can get a little uh, a little pungent. So I, what I do is I just wash it in the washing machine on uh, like hand wash gentle cycle. And one thing that I have been using for a while, and you know this is not any sort of plug or anything, but I use these uh, Downy Unstoppable. Um, they're like little scent beads. So I use these in the washing machine with it and it really helps keep the, um, you know, the, the smell is still gonna come back, but it help keep, helps uh, keep it out uh, for a little bit longer. I actually use that stuff when I wash any of my, uh, my running gear, but that, that might be too much information, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it does, it does help a lot. I, I use it, my running gear helps, uh, helps things stay smelling a little bit uh, fresher. Um, okay, folks, so uh, I hope that that's been helpful to you. Like I said, as a bigger runner, this, this uh, uh, pack has worked out awesome for me. Um, uh, I, do, I, you know, I can carry everything I need in it for half marathon, maybe up even to uh, 30K, depending on how I mix up my fluids. Um, when I ran a marathon, um, my virtual marathon recently, um, which I'll have a link to that video, I did a race recap. Uh, what I normally do is I will, you know, do a half marathon loop, come back to the house, just swap out my, uh, my two bottles in the front and then head out for uh, another half marathon. But uh, it's, yeah, I, for the price, for, uh, now $42 just, just for the pack, um, you know, I, I can't go wrong. In fact, I, I even, when I bought this one, uh, just because I was worried that they might discontinue it. I bought another one. So I have another one sort of as an emergency reserve. But uh, yeah, I've been wearing this, this style pack for over two years now. And it's just awesome for me as a, as a bigger runner. I don't think I would run. It suits my purposes just fine. Um, so if you have any questions or comments or, you know, you want to, you have any input on maybe what vest you might use, especially if you're a, a bigger runner, please go ahead and leave that down below. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time out to watch this video. If you, if you liked it, please consider pressing the like button. Uh, if you have enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing. If you want to follow my journey as a, as a bigger, older runner, uh, that would be also be much appreciated. Uh, just remember, no matter how big you are, uh, what size you are, how old you are, what shape you are, how far you run or how fast you run. If you run, you are a runner. So I wish you all the best in your future running adventures and I hope to see you in future videos. Take care.